Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Andres, how are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Great, good to hear. How's the weather? Uh, today is a uh, normal weather, but the days before uh, it was very cold. It's been regular weather, okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, it wasn't windy as yesterday, right? No, uh, today not. It's, not today. It's, uh, but it's not hot. It's a uh, cool, cool weather. Nice, nice. Erika, how are you? Teacher, I'm good, and you? I'm doing great too. How was Thanks. your job today? Uh, today it was so quiet, I think. <laughs> it was quiet, okay. So there was not much work to do. Yes. There's not much today. Good, good, good. Okay, we're only seven. Oh my God. Eight. Okay. Okay, we're 10 now. Hey, there's a new uh, kind of digital marketing that the government has applied, right? Have you received any calls or uh, messages on your cell phone from the government? Yes. Yes, because when the COVID. pandemic starts. Because of COVID? Yeah. Yeah, but when did that start it? When did it, did it start? Do you remember? I do not remember, but uh, uh, sometimes it's because uh, at night will be, uh, uh, how do you say? Cadena Nacional. National chain <laughs> uh, of TV. I, I don't know. A uh, live conference from the president. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. National broadcasting, a national broadcasting. Uh, but uh, my point is that I believe this didn't start with this government. It was actually on Funes uh, elections. Remember, uh, that's when they started sending messages to everybody's phones or yeah, regular text messages about the elections. I mean, I think it was the TSA that started contacting everybody through that method. Um, they are violating the, the you know, privacy of consumers in some way, in some way they do. I mean, it's, I don't care, but I don't even read these messages sometimes. <laughs> But do you get these messages very often? I read it when they sent uh, the Dewey's that can, that could uh, go out to the supermarket, for example. Oh, yes, it's true. I didn't remember that. And that was weird, right? Not being able to go out. Ugh. Yes. Quarantine. Okay, guys, it's 8.04. Where are the others? We're 13 already. Let's do the attendance. Let's start the class. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Okay. Erika Beatriz López Morales. 
Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Zulema Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. And Therma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Excellent. <laughs> Yuri. Hey. Good. Okay. Today is our day number 16, our 16th day. So what do you remember about the last class? Can somebody describe to me what happened during the last class? We talked about cookies. Why? And I think it is because it's related to the e-commerce. Okay, how is it related, guys? Thank you, Erika. Great job, great job. How is it related? What cookies have to do with e-commerce? They... Because because they they absorb some personal information in order to develop their products or services. Develop new products or services, okay. Or to point you on that direction, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole point. I remember the internet gets their its memory by um, keeping by storing your preferences. And that's the way you're redirected to websites or ads. It will influence you to buy stuff that you like. Okay, that's basically it. That's the reason why. Okay, um, so what else, what else? We talked about digital marketing. So that's the way it has changed, okay? Have you ever been so influenced by an ad that you decided to purchase the item? Yes, for in my case, is it's often when I, I I watch some app of, for example, discounting apps of delivery or restaurant with credit card. So I I try to to buy food in that in that case because. I, I think I think man uh, for example twenty five percent of discount for me good <laughs> I try to hmm. to take advantage take advantage of to get advantage of discount yeah that happens right some something very popular is co coupon clue right coupon clue yep coupon yes clue. I I remember I bought uh, when I was learning to drive a car, I, I bought I bought uh, a coupon I bought, of bought, bought. Mm -hmm. I, I bought a <laughs> I bought a coupon on that platform and that that is the, the way that I I, I finished to learn to, to, to drive. Oh, so so the coupon was for a special price for yes. driving lessons. So, yes. Half, wow. of, half of the of the original price. 
That was a good price. Okay. I have bought, uh, how do you call this? Some salon treatments for my wife uh, through Coupon, oh. coupon Club. Valor. But sometimes, a lot. Yeah. Alor. Alor. Valor. Uh, I don't remember. Salon or salon? Salon. Valor. Salon. Salon. Mm. Yeah, salon. Mm. A hair salon. I should have said, should have said, okay, salon, yeah. Also, uh, what else, what else? Car wash, car wash, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. And that's how influenced we are. Now, um, something that is a trend, at least on TikTok or through YouTube as well, my kid loves watching these videos where there's a guy trying trying new products and he, he goes like true or fake you know to try things he tries do it do it yourself you know diy do diy do it yourself uh stuff like making pancakes um without on an oven things like that then he tries products as well now the interesting thing is that he became an influencer i can't remember his name but he has millions of views through TikTok and YouTube. And that's that's all he does. You know, he, he's always testing new products and the companies send him the samples. They send is him the a guy, sample. What? Is he the guy that says, pongamolo a prueba? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Let's give it a try. That's right. Let's yeah, try it. That that <laughs> yeah, that, it's incredible. Some things that he, he has tried, I mean, and, and he convinces you basically. He tried um, some sort of soap, soap that you put on the washer, on the washing machine, and it absorbs all of the hair from your pets and it didn't work. So that, as a consumer, I think that's a very good video, you know, that you really want to watch in order to decide if the product works or not. Now he tries newer inventions, newer, products. We discussed this on Intermediate 4, let me see, Intermediate 3, actually, remember, when you go and try samples, and I gave you uh, the, the example that I, I went to a uh, survey, a survey, there are companies that can to conduct surveys with the real product, or just making you questions to develop an existing product. On the product development stage, remember, you can go and try some samples. For example, have you have what what is a product that you have tried in your life? You know, like to test it, which was new on the market or it was new for you. Can you mention a product that you have tried? Jam or ham? How do you say? Ham. Ham. Meat in the supermarket. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How, so that's funny now that you mention it. We're going to talk about direct selling, direct, um, let me see again. Uh, we're we're going to learn how to describe fundamentals of two digital marketing strategies. The first one is the direct marketing strategy, digital marketing strategy. Um, and how it works, you know, how you can get direct. That's on page 26, by the way, of your book, Direct Digital Marketing. There are some types of sales, you know, that you may be familiar with and you don't even realize. Um, typically, in the old fashioned way, there used to be the passive sales, passive sales which is basically waiting for the customer to buy your product. And that's it. Okay. Does that work? Just waiting, you know, you create a product, you don't need digital marketing, you don't need marketing at all. You just wait for the consumers to come and use your product. Can you give me an example of a product that doesn't require marketing? Gas, 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 propane. Yes, propane gas. Yes, because it's, it's, a, it's a need, necessity. I don't know. 
Excellent. It's a necessity. Good job. Water. Water. Again. Uh, water. Water. No, no. Yes. Water. Gasoline. Yeah. Gasoline. Water. Water. But are we talking about bottled water? Or um, water about Anda or? Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> You need to test the water. <laughs> I mean, that's the only provider we have. But when it comes to bottles, you know, or little bags, I mean, different presentations, mm. you have a sort of options nowadays. Okay. Uh, gasoline, fuel, fuel. Hmm. How do you decide which fuel is better for your vehicle? Are you loyal to a brand? I am. Yes. Yes. Okay, everybody, mm -hmm. tell me what's your loyalty brand for gasoline? Erika. My case, Texaco. Irene? Uno. Texaco. Freddy's, you said uno? Uno. Okay. Uno. Yeah, uno, I had bad experience with Texaco. Really? Yeah. Mm. They they make some diesel with gasoline. Oh my! But that was a human error, most likely. Nope. No. That always happened right here in Acajutla. Only oh on the Oh my God! That's bad reputation right there. Okay, yep. I always go to Uno uh, or even DLC. DLC. Ever since we bought a a Mazda uh, two years ago, almost. Almost two years ago, we got a Mazda 3 2012, and it was low mileage. It had like 64,000 miles. It wasn't that much. It was like new. And the seller, which is a neighbor, he imports cars, at least two cars a month, you know, and he's repairing the cars outside his house all the time, you know. So he said, hey, you know what? I have this car. If you want to buy it, okay, we bought it. But... He said, be careful. This is a Japanese car. Number one, don't change the coolant. Okay. The coolant will last until you reach 138,000 miles. That's the coolant from factory. Number two, the octane. You know what is octane? Yeah, octane degrees. Uh, you need to pump to fuel, uh, to pump fuel. You need to pump fuel at a DLC. Okay, or at, at Uno. You can do Texaco as well, but you know, it's less expensive at DLC or, or, or Uno. And I asked, I asked the guys, hey, what's your octane, you know, on, on regular gasoline? And he said 95, 93. That's really good. Okay, and that's all that I care about. Now, why do I always go to Uno? In Constitución, uh, this is a commercial, but near to La Pradera, <laughs> that uno, there's a, there are the gas pump, gas pumps number nine and 10, gas pumps nine and 10 at that uno, they are always seven cents, I think, or four cents, I can remember, low, lower than the regular price. So it it's like that gas pump, you know, was malfunctioning and they never repair it and they always give the the price on that specific pump lower than the regular price up so i always go every sunday at night i stop there you know uh fuel the, how do you say that full full yeah full the tank and that's it so that's me but what made me take the decision because somebody recommended me to do so Okay, to become loyal. Do they need marketing? Um, no. No, I don't think they, the gas stations need marketing. I mean, it's a need as well. It's a necessity, as Fernando said. But they have promotions, right? They still try to attract more customers, you know, with the raffles of pickups and cars, right? Nobody wins those cars anymore. <laughs> like, right? Okay, so let's talk about this topic just for 10 minutes and we come back. Are you loyal to a brand? What made you become loyal to that brand? Is it because 
you know, you saw it in an advertisement. Do they do marketing? That's an important question. And, and the main question, do they do marketing? Is it digital, TV, radio? You tell me, okay? So make these questions to your classmates and have a conversation. Remember, that's the whole point. Let's go. Are you loyal to a brand? How do you that happen? What kind of marketing do the wrong? Do the wrong. Okay, guys, are you loyal to a brand? Guys? Mm -hmm. I am sick at the moment, so we will. Cool. Okay, hello, good night. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, sorry, yes. <laughs> okay, what is the question, Erwin? Sorry. I in, the, in, the, in, the, in the WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp. Let Are me you, check. Yes, in the WhatsApp is the, in the sentences. <sighs> Are you loyal to a brand? Oh, in my case, in clothes, yes. I ah, love, okay. Uh, I love the, the Converse clothes, so I, I, I love it for that brand. Oh. You love Mark, the one, the one brand? Yes. What kind of Mark? What kind of Mark? Sorry. Brand, okay. brand. Yes, but what kind of brand do you, do you know? Converse. Like which one? Converse. Ah, to the Converse for the shoes. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, glass. Yes. No, but he, he actually he was the the owner of the. Item he will ask he will ask him for the weather he will tell him the weather and he will like can you play my favorite song and actually he will play his favorite song is it true they they you they frequently that kind of assistant use uh, a artificial intelligence they know what the, what do you prefer. That's why is frequently that they know what do you, what are you going to what are you going to do. I remember I remember when I remember when I was studying about about that area. Uh, Amazon study about uh, everything that you do in the website. They sell they save everything that you do. For example, if you click a button. If you visit a page a uh, uh, store in uh, the website, they they say everything. That's why they know what do you want. They know what are you going to buy. It's, uh, it's like a spy way, but it's, it's now it's frequently. It's frequently like companies like uh, Google, uh, Apple, and they do everything to know what is the customer in front of the website or they have.
So why you use the most for? Excuse me. What's the use that you that you get from the uh, what is it a Siri or Alexa? Alexa. I I use Alexa for many things. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's because I don't know what is the correct way to say in English domotic domotic house domot dom in Spanish is domotico is a process that the the your house is connect to that kind of device. For example, you can turn on the lights, you can uh, turn on the TV using that kind of drive, that kind of device. Um, yeah, like a music too, videos. You, you're able to turn on the light, but you have to have a, a special bulb, right? Yes, uh, for example, when you connect light in that way, uh, you can command uh, and you can command uh, send a command to Alexa and the Alexa is going to turn on. Uh, but you can use, use that kind of service with Google to maybe with Siri. But now it's very really, really common apply that kind of artificial. Yeah. In another case, uh, for example, um, uh, me, the other person is loyal a brand. Uh, in some case, in some case, uh, don't import, don't import the the article expensive or you no know, or cheap. Okay. And what about uh, TVs? What what brand do you prefer? Uh, on TVs? Yes. Well, in my case, I don't have an expensive brand for a TV, but I prefer Samsung mm -hmm. because they they fabricate the, the better the better screen in, in the in the in the market but <laughs> i am not doing publicity for Samsung, but uh, uh, for cell phones and for tvs Samsung maybe is the better fabricate or manufacturer of yeah. of screens in the market yeah, yeah, in case, the best the best the best sorry the best. Uh, I bought a, a Samsung 4K last year and has good quality. It's better than LG. I, before I only bought, bought LG TVs, but... Uh, LG is, like, a, is a good brand too on, on TVs. Yeah. But Samsung yes. is better mm -hmm. and expensive, mm -hmm. more expensive. Yes. Uh -huh. But comparing the quality, I, uh, now I prefer Samsung. Uh, in a few months or maybe, well, well in, in Europe, you can you can find TVs with a uh, new technology that, for example, if you have uh, a part of TV broken, you can replace the, that exactly part of TV. Yeah. But because the, the, the screen, it was made in for screen blocks video. in blocks you can mm -hmm. you can you can change a specific block of the tv so if you have have burn the uh, pixels or a uh, broken uh, uh, part of the of the of the screen you can replace that That's that is good. very expensive mm -hmm. but Instead of change all the screen, yeah, mm -hmm. the cell phone Samsung and TV Samsung uh, share the screen with. I I.
Okay. For me, it's not it's not important the brand or the or the price. But uh, it's important the quality. So yeah, uh, because the pair of shoes is durable. Yeah. For example, yeah. last year, last year, I bought a pair of shoes for five dollars. What brand? Pajarito. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <handmade. laughs> beer, and a little beer, a little beer. <laughs> and for example, just imagine uh, a pair of shoes for for me, five dollars. A pair of shoes for my husband, one hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Too expensive. Yeah, so expensive. Well, actually, <laughs> men's clothes and men's shoes are more expensive than women's, supposedly. Yeah. But mm. it's important. Uh, he only bought Nike and Caterpillar. I bought, uh, I don't know, whatever. Bye. <laughs> I buy okay. I bought uh, a pair of slippers last last year for one dollar, and I love these slippers. The red red color. Yeah, in in one dollar. <laughs> You want to go to store, I bought. It's a good price. Without brand? Imagine. <laughs> and um, and you, Jocelyn? Tell me. Okay, so we're back. Can somebody share its story, you know, about how you became loyal to a brand? Uh, maybe I will, mm -hmm. I, I can try. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, for doing my job, I, 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 I only, I only, how do you say, I can only do, sería, yo solo puedo. Perfect. Yes. I can only do my work on a, a MacBook or iMac. Good job. Because, mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, for developing a mobile application for iOS, you 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 have to to do it in their products. It's the only way to comp compile the, the application. Even if it is an app for Android? No, no. Uh, it's specifically specifically for iOS. You can develop you can develop applications on on a on Mac OS or OS, but uh, if you, uh, for example, you have Windows and you you are developing an application, a an hybrid application, hybrid. you can mm -hmm. you can develop the application, but you 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 can't uh, right. compile. You can compile. Mm, so you, you can, can, you can run it. You can run it and generate the, the, the installer only oh. on Mac OS. Okay, that's my point. That's my point. So, but in but in the end, I guess it's better because in Apple, through Apple, you have to pay more for the apps, right? Yes, and you have to pay for a license to development to to develop. To, yes, to develop. Mm. So uh before i i learning uh before i learned that technology i i don't i i don't i i didn't i i said no i said uh, apple is is very expensive i i i don't i don't know if 
some someday <laughs> I I I'm going to buy a, a product but from Apple because my job I I I had to do it because of my job because of my job I had to do it and when I I started in in in, the, in this world so uh, I I am I am loyal, loyal I, to, I became. I became loyal to, to, to Apple. So to Apple. Do you have an iPhone? No. Uh, it's I just have the Samsung. computer. Yes, but uh, <laughs> so you're not loyal. It, no, but the, the, the reason is for example, uh, I don't I don't need an iPhone. I like iPhone pero, but I, I don't I don't need an iPhone. Mm. And for for me uh, I have a MacBook mm -hmm. and it, it's expensive. <laughs> I uh, I had to. I had to pay for three years that that computer. <laughs> I had to pay but, the computer. I have to pay for three years. I have to pay the computer for three years. I spent three years paying the computer. Paying the computer. Yes. Yeah. I, did I, my, did I tell you? My tool. It's my tell you. It's my did tool I did or... I tell you that we have an AirBook Pro with Windows? Yes, yes, that, <laughs> the owners, the owner uh, can do it for, but with, with their, with their equipment. No, I don't like it. I don't know why the yes, that... suggested that, but anyways, it is what it is. It's still, you know, it's very good on the graphics and everything. So it's pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Next, we're going to read. Okay, we have some lecture um, to perform. We're going to do the same thing. Read the excerpt to learn about direct digital marketing, what it is, how it works. Don't share the screen. Okay, this is very important information. Um, and later you will do a very brief exposition in groups, okay? We have social media marketing, email marketing, telemarketing, text marketing, and that's it. So how many did I mention? Hold on, one, two, three, four. It's just four. So I'll put you in four groups. Well, five groups. There's an, an additional topic that you will see, uh, which is explaining why professional people prefer this method of marketing, why is it more convenient? So you have to convince me that direct digital marketing is better than other methods. What is it? That's our main goal to understand what is direct digital marketing. You have the excerpt on your WhatsApp right now. Take turns, read it, understand it. We will have only 15 minutes to discuss this and define who is going to explain to the whole class each topic, okay? So as I usually do, social media marketing belongs to Fernando, Fredis, Glenda, Amos, and Jarvin. Again, Fernando, Fredis, Glenda, Amos, and Jarvin. We're going to talk about social media marketing, EC. Okay, number two, Alexander, Erika, Francisco, Thelma, and William. I repeat. Alexander, Erika, Francisco, Thelma, and William, you got email marketing. Email marketing. Group number three, Andres, Edwin, Irene, Yuri, and Jocelyn. Again, Andres, Edwin, Irene, Yuri, and Jocelyn. You have telemarketing. <laughs> telemarketing. Group number four, Josué, Roberto, Sandra, Estefania, and Jessica Yanari. I repeat, Josué, Roberto, Sandra, Estefania, and Jessica. You have text marketing, SMS, text marketing. And the last group, Doris, Irwin, Luis, and Suleima. Again, Doris, Irwin, Luis, and Suleima. You have the last topic, why professionals prefer direct digital marketing, okay? My suggestion, read the whole thing, get your topic. It's just a few words. What did you understand on your own words, okay? Let's do it.
Let me finish already ready. Hello, baby. Okay, using social media is an effective direct digital marketing strategy because it's allow business to communicate with the client directly as well as the frequently share relevant products or service. Social media platforms makes it easy to share content without your entire network of customers. So that will be like, like we were talking in the previous classes when we we're watching a video, right? I think so. It comes out of social, uh, in the social media, it comes out a video that sponsors some brands or I think that that happens with um with the cookies right that they gather all your information or you're looking for something and they actually they place it as as an ad on on a video or maybe you're looking for something else and it just pops out like an offer for what you frequently looking for, right? Or am I wrong? What do you think? Fernando, Amos, Jarvian, Glenda? Sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, the, the social media. Uh, in my case, for example, so, sorry, sorry, Amos. Yeah, go, on. Yeah. No, go on, continue. Go ahead, Amos. Hi, my opinion of the, the, the social media facil, facil, uh, facil, facilitate uh, the sales, the sales and another, another, the, the, the all articles for online. Uh, in my opinion, right? uh, for the, um, I read the, the text. Uh, this is uh, the the method very easy for the companies in this moment. Okay, uh, social media maybe is the easiest uh, way to to direct marketing, for direct marketing, because for example, uh, all, all, all the people, all the people, all the people is, ha, has uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, or any, any social account or social app in, in all the world. So that is, that is very very easy for for the for the brands to put their their ads in front of the customers all the time and an event for example when you are talking about uh, in my case uh, I I was a, a different experience for example I was talking about 
man, I, I want to I want to buy a an hamburger. Then when I open Instagram, Facebook, I I watch apps of for example as an effective marketing tool. This is according to San Google. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we can we can add this information. I think it's important. Gary Thwer Thwerk? Gary Thwerk sent. Okay. I will put it. Gary, Gary, Gary. Mm -hmm. Email marketing start. Oh can you okay. hear me? Help me please. What is the correct pronunciation of Gary Thwerk? Okay, or track? Oh, track. Track? What are you reading? I'm sorry. Uh, I sent the, the text in the chat. I sent the text. Gary Trick. Thrick. I don't know. Gary Thrick. Thrick. Gary Thrick. Of digital, digital digital equipment corporations and the first mass mailing to approximately 400 customers. It claimed to have generated 13 million in sales as a result, revealing the high potential of email marketing as an effective marketing tool. First mass yes. mailing. Wow. 400 customers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thurk. 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 Get it, Thurk. When I when I, I listen, when, when I hear Gary, I remember to book a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Sorry, I remember. I remember. Bob Bob Esponja. Right. <laughs> you can also say it reminded me. It reminded me of Bob Esponja. Oh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. My mind is a little crazy. Sorry. It's okay. You picture things. That's good. Okay. Keep it no. up. Okay. Uh, so we can add now the advantages and disadvantages. Okay. One advantage is, uh, I think, is the cheaper way to to do or to make marketing. How is mm -hmm. the correct way to do or make, teacher? To do direct marketing. To do, okay, to do. This like to a crazy metal, mm -hmm. or no? It's a like. Uh, crazy method of crazy, but effect, crazy effective. Method. Crazy but effective method. But effective method. Why do Why do do you think is crazy method? Is a crazy oh, method. Maybe because you need to send the same email to uh. Mm, oh, the number. Yes, I <laughs> I say the number in my agenda. I prefer to don't answer the, the code. Okay. I do the same thing. I have uh, with name when Tigo called me, I, I can, I recognize it really easy when a uh, seller from Tigo called me. Oh. That's why I called me. And I don't respond it. I don't answer. I don't answer. <laughs> the, the numbers start with two, five, zero, six. Oh. <laughs> yes, I will. knew that. OK. Okay. 
Okay, you're ready? Yes. What's we your... have some ideas. Okay, who's gonna go to the front? I don't know. Who wants to participate? Planet. Okay. Gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my God, this group is so quiet. What is it? Are you reading? Yeah, teacher. Okay. In watching other videos about. Okay. Text. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. Teacher, uh, uh, I think that um, I try to say uh, text my text message is, is I I going to give uh, some examples. For example, uh, a commercial uh, like Prado sent me uh, some promotion about. Um, for because I'm a VIP a customer, so they invite me, but for message, for SMS. Through uh, SMS? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yeah, for SMS, uh, send me about um, some promotion because I'm, <clears throat> I'm a VIP customer. Uh, I invite him for for if if I if I want to go uh, to see some promotion for for because I'm a big, big customer. Uh, if I want to buy some, I have um, n percent of the stone, but it's in in, in SMS. I don't know if he's, he's, he's talking about that. In, in, in our in our topic. Wait, your topic is text SMS marketing. Yeah, exactly. Oh. You receive text messages um, from companies trying to mm -hmm. sell something to you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember that one of you will come to the front. Yeah. Guys, what happened? Stefania, Sandra, Josue Hello, Alberto. I'm here. Uh, okay. <laughs> agree, okay. agree who's <laughs> going to the front. We're missing four minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm agree that Janari present the topic.
Sorry, teacher. Now I'm not in, in, in home. For the reason I can participate very well. You're not home. Okay, I understand. Okay, before we do the presentations really quick, let's go with the attendance. As usual at 9 p.m., Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. You're there. Jose, thank you. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present, present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Hey, everybody's here. Wow. Wait, we're missing one person here. 
Uh, I don't know. Okay, good. Um, let's keep it up. If you haven't finished the platform, by the way, up to the midterm exam is where we should be all. So group number, number one. Fernando, Fredis, Glenda, Amos, and Jarvin, tell us about your topic. Uh, well, well uh, we was talking about social media marketing. Uh, we was talking about uh, all, all, all of us, we, we use uh, social apps like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and usually every day we we watch ads related to the maybe it can be the searches, the can be the for example in a smartphone can can hear you and for example if you if you are talking about that you want to to buy or eat a burger or pizza, if you open, for example, Facebook in a few minutes, it can appear uh, an ad about pizza or about burgers. So uh, social, the social, social marketing maybe is the, is the easy, easy way to, the easiest way to, to, uh, contact to the customer, take a, take a contact or, or, or with, your, with your customer and it's, it's easy to do for maybe uh, entrepreneurs and that's it. Excellent, okay. Okay, so um, if you read everybody, what is direct digital marketing? There's a very important aspect, um, which is, you know, the, the DDM or direct D digital marketing is possible when the target audience is clear and known. So how do social media marketing do, you know, to obtain your information, to know you basically? How do they do to know you, the rest of the group? Actually, to share it, um, they gather your information from the cookies. Okay, simple. That's how, that's how they get all your information, and they'll be, and when they have your information, actually, the companies, um, in order to grow up in business, they will select one special media, especially if it's a company that barely starts, because um, we were watching a video that gave us an example that that if he, a company is barely starting, it has to have a, at least a, a party team that will help them to be in different social media. If they don't have the, the party team, actually they will have to choose only one social media because in, if, it, if they try to be in all social media, they will fail on their, on their business because each social media will be asking for is actually the platforms are different. So let's say um, if if he, if he, the the business focus on the let's say especially on Facebook, it will be like um, I think my my clients will be be more on Facebook. So I gather the most of the information and be like um, my clients are looking for the item on Facebook too. So I will send the most most of the media on on Facebook. So actually I will have more profit because I'm focusing directly on one app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's been, thank you. Thank you, Freddie. That was very helpful. And somebody mentioned yesterday a uh, social media manager or what was it? Oh my God, uh, I can't remember the name. Oh my God, I forgot the name of that job position. Media manager. Community manager. What is it? Community manager. Community manager, yes, thank you. And it was you actually, <laughs> Stephanie. Yeah, community manager. Um, 
they uh, they suggest that I have talked to some community managers and they suggest that you should focus on one um, social media network at a time. Don't do all of them at a time, you know, or one or two, but not not more than two. I mean, that's critical. Very good. OK, second group, Alexander, Erika, Francisco, Thelma and William, all yours. OK, good evening. Um, our topic is uh, email, em, email marketing. And uh, this kind of marketing works uh, when you send information about your products or your company uh, to a massive list of contacts through email. So we found this information about the history of email marketing, and we found that email marketing started in the 70s, and Gary Thwerk sent uh, around 400 uh, emails, and that becomes in $13 million of sales. And uh, we define some advantages and disadvantages. And for example, in the advantages, we, uh, we think that it is the cheapest way to do digital marketing. Uh, you receive quickly answers and you can reach more people and engage them with your brand or your company. But the, dis the disadvantages are that currently we think that people don't read emails a lot. And uh, this kind of uh, marketing works better in business to business because it's the channel of communication you have. But uh, for example, with a specific market, uh, it's better to use, uh, for example, through WhatsApp or text. Excellent, very good, okay. Same question for you. How do they get to know you? How do they know your email? How do they gather this information? Everybody else on the group. Some pages, the web pages, they gather your information when you accept some cookies and you accept all terms and conditions, even though you are not aware. You're not aware. Like, yeah, sometimes you only need to uh, get some information about the web page and you accept, accept and run. Um, but other web page, they ask, ask to you if you want to provide your email in order to receive promotions or news about some product. And the most of the time, this is the, the most common information that they can get about you on some web page actually some companies or business when you get that different kind of products they ask you about uh, your email if you want to receive some emails or when you subscribe some services mm. That's fair. Amazing. That's my, yeah. Amazing. Shouldn't that be illegal, don't you think? Because, for example, if I'm on my, uh, I'm at work, you know, and, and I just um, agree to the cookies from my job computer, isn't there some sensitive information they could store, you know? That could be dangerous, right? you will put at risk sensitive information from your job. Be careful with that. Great job, great job. And emails, oh my God. Can you imagine somebody from Apple accepting cookies and then giving out all the email addresses that log into his computer? Oh my God, that's critical. Okay, thank you guys. Andres, Edwin, Irene, Judy, and Jocelyn. Third topic, what was it? Okay, okay, teacher, we were talking about telemarketing. Yeah, we mentioned with our team and we conclude that telemarketing, as the name mentioned, it is the direct marketing or service 
uh, to potential customer over the phone or internet. Uh, we mentioned some example that can be a cell, cell call, also inbox calls and add-on calls. Uh, we mentioned some companies that used to do it, uh, like Tigo, Claro, Simon, uh, for example, and any other company. Uh, related to how the companies gather our information is because we already have a service with them. For example, Claro, they always want to provide you something better, supposedly, right? Uh, talking about credit cards, uh, we already mentioned too that uh, there are some banks calling is we can offer a credit card. And we mentioned that is the bank that is the provider was the company that we are going that we are working, the one that we receive the, the salary, we can mention as a third party, I guess. And, and also we receive cell calls, that is people telling us is we need something, like for example, and also we mentioned emails can be there too. Simon uh, can send an email, tell us that they will have a black week, with everything will be, uh, will have discounts. And we mentioned also text message, text message, oh, sorry. Because we receive information related to Relos that they will have a promotion like Facebook, WhatsApp, Illimit, things like that. Awesome. Okay, um, just regarding this topic, were you aware that there is a blacklist there is a toll-free number in the US where you can subscribe your telephone on a national list for um, to avoid to avoid telemarketing calls. It's called uh, it's basically a blacklist, but and there's an act, an act, uh, a law if you want it that way that they came up with, there are specific calling times. Do not call registry, that's the name of it. And if you're on that list, nobody can contact you, okay? And basically that's the name of the website. Do not call that gov. You can register, report unwanted calls, verify your registration, register your phone. I'll send you the link right now, I'm looking at it. When I used to work uh, for Dell, um, we had this experience because we were doing outbound calls, you know, calling customers and offering them. And this was called upsell. Do you know what is upsell? Upsell is like when you go to Burger King, you know, and you order, a, uh, uh, I don't know, a whooper with small fries and the guy goes like would you like to make it bigger for two dollars you know make bigger your fries and your soda that's upselling okay what about an ice cream that's upselling you got it selling you something on top of what you order and so that's what telemarketing do it's outbounding offering services offering upselling a lot of things but yeah, there are some restrictions that you need to follow. Okay, and the Congress came up with that idea. They created this organism that controls who contacts you. Let's see. Thank you, Jocelyn. Group number three. Let's go with group number four. Josue, Roberto, Sandra, Estefania, and Jessica. Well, teacher, we already talked about the SMS. Text and SMS marketing. Uh, so uh, many companies uh, use this kind of uh, this methodology methodology uh, to promote um, their products uh, or make their offer known. Uh, for example, we have Radio Shack, um, Simana, Curacao or other or other companies, uh, most of which probably already had a registration before ahead. 
uh, for example, if you if you buy some or if you buy any any product, uh, maybe uh, the the um, the salesperson uh, give you your your phone number, uh, and for that reason that uh, in some cases send send us a uh, text uh, about many, many promotion. Okay, what does SMN, SMS stands for? The rest of the group, thank you, Jessica. The rest of the group, what's the meaning of the acronym SMS? Okay, anybody? Group number four. Jose Alberto, Sandra, Stefania. What, what does SMS stands for? Exactly, short message service is on the text. Okay, and the last group, Doris, Irwin, Luis and Sulema. Okay. Uh, our topic is why professionals prefer direct digital marketing. And uh, we think that uh, the professionals prefer that kind of marketing because it's cheaper than the traditional marketing because you don't need to print documents or ads or pay on the TV for one space. Uh, it's easy to manage because you can track the marketing process and the performance with all the metrics or tools that you need. And uh, that kind of marketing is designed to reach a specific audience. And maybe you can reach a spontaneous audience too. So it's easier and cheaper. And that's it. Excellent. Thank you. Great job. Okay. Uh, I like that point. Spontaneous audience reach. Spontaneous audience reach. So there could there's a chance that you're marketing on any of the previous um, media that we mentioned becomes a trend you know there's a chance that everybody starts liking your your ad you know and and they make it a trend they make it something popular and etc so that's the whole point guys uh it's cheaper to be um on digital marketing direct digital marketing typically it's not considered aggressive because the user you know, you can define if you want or not that kind of um, marketing. For example, if you get a, an email, you can market it as spam, right? You just select the spam and you won't get that email anymore. It goes directly to your spam email. Okay. The same happens with YouTube ads in theory. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Nice topic, actually. There's a lot to say about that. Okay, and that's on page 26. Let's move on to page 27, and we're going to close this uh, session. We're missing 40 minutes to talk about the next topic on page 27. Okay, let's see. Um, search engines. What do you understand by search engines? Google. Google. Bing. Bing. Talk to go. Dot go to. to go. Deck. Or deck like to go. Okay. Man, I didn't know that. those last ones. Bing, I forgotten about Bing. Dog to go. Doctor go. No, dog, dog, go. Oh, dot, dot, go. Okay. I didn't know about those. Wow. In the gray explorer come. For default, it comes with Chrome. Brave, 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 brave navigator. The browser is called Brave, brave, 
VR, wow. There are more browsers as well. We have Firefox. I don't know, a lot. Okay. Sure. <laughs> There's a lot, right? Okay, what is a good way to attract possible customers to the website of your product or service? We already mentioned this, right? How can you do it? Let's think for just one minute. You have a company, whatever company it is. Nowadays, with all the different ways, social media, you know, different channels that you have, how would you make digital marketing? What's the first thing that comes to your mind to make the digital marketing without spending a penny, which is the best? How would you do it? How would you do the digital marketing? What's your favorite, your first thought? The search engine optimization is really necessary to uh, dedicate time when you are going to develop a website because that permits that the old, old, engine, old engine can find search your engine? website. Search engine can find your website. Oh, interesting. So, okay. What if I don't have a website? I just have a product. Let's say I'm selling wax, you know, wax to remove the, your hair from your skin. Okay, and that's natural, natural wax. You know how to do it, right? With sugar, lemon, that's it. I'm selling natural wax and I want to do digital marketing. What would you do? Where would you do the digital marketing without spending money? Facebook. Facebook. Oh, don't they charge? No, no. right? Yeah. Uh, you will go to Marketplace then. Only if you want. In marketplace, you can sell your item. Mm hmm. And yes, okay, it's optional if you want to pay. Uh, there are, you, have to pay. You, have, you have to pay for it. Hmm. There, are, there are applications that permit that you put your website and many, to, when you create, you have a website, you need to have a many links that the search engine can find that you have something interesting. That way, there are many applications that permit that you put your website and they replicate that link in many websites. That awesome. is a good practice. Okay, allow. Let's try to use allow, not just permit. They allowed you. They allowed you to put your link, and actually, that's something that uh, many YouTubers suggest. You can promote. And make money. You make money if you promote um, a link or a product. You know, cheating basically, cheating, cheating. You, you. There are ways to do it nowadays. You just leave the link there. That link creates a code and it refers to you. It, it sounds like referring people to the product. So whoever buy that product, you get it. It's yours. So, a quick way of becoming famous is through TikTok. I mean, you can leave a link on the description. People visit the link and as many times as they visit the link, uh, they give you money for doing that. I mean, that's a trend already in many social media platforms. Okay, let me see. William Alexander, can you please help me? I cannot talk. Can you read that? Samuel and Isabel are going through some steps to improve their search engine, engine optimization, CEO, SEO uh, strategy. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Good job, William. Just one thing engine, 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 yeah, engine. Engine, engine. Okay. Yeah. Optimization. Search engine optimization, SEO. Okay. <clears throat> the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords. 
I thought you did it. Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Hmm. This is the introduction to another new grammar topic. Pay attention to this, okay? And we will talk about it, I think not today, but tomorrow. We'll see that. Okay, so let's get splitted. Practice, one is Samuel, one is Isabel. Any questions? What about this word? How do you read it? Read in it? What is the correct pronoun? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Uh, about troublesome. Troublesome. The last troublesome. Oh, okay. It'll be. Thank you. It will. It yes. will be. It will be. It will be very troublesome later. It'll be. It'll be. It'll be. It'll be. I rather contract. It'll be very troublesome later. It'll be troublesome. It'll be very troublesome. It'll be very troublesome. Remember, if you want to catch something and never forget it, just repeat it piece by piece. It'll, 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 it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be very, it'll be very, it'll be very, it'll be very troublesome. It'll be very troublesome. It'll be very troublesome. And so on. And you problematic. Yeah. Problematic. So it would be people can be troublesome or yes. only situations. Mm -hmm. You could say it in informal English that someone is very troublesome. He's troublesome, you know. He's troublesome. She's troublesome. Yes. Your son is very troublesome. <laughs> Problematico, problematica. Yeah, totally. Good observation. Okay, revised, revised, revised. Come on, guys. I thought, I thought you did. Listen, I thought you did. I thought, thought, thought. Z O T, small t, thought. I thought you did. I thought you did it. I thought you did it. I thought you did it, didn't you? I thought you did it, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. Okay. Da, 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 da. Actually, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. search engine, engine optimization. Okay. Let's practice for a few minutes. Okay. Repeat, repeat, repeat with your classmates. I want to hear perfect pronunciation from intermediate five students. Let's do it. The list of keywords did it. Isabel? The last of keywords I thought you didn't. Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. In a sec. We won't have problems. Let it with search and game 
optimization will meet? Will be? Yes, I could very strong balls letter for the specialist. It is good that I ask you, is it is deep? Is it? Okay. Is it? Okay, thank you. Is it? The other conference. Okay, now Glenda, are you there? Yes, I am. Here I am. Okay, uh, I will start with Samuel and then you with Isabel. The list, the list of keywords I told you, didn't, didn't you? I, I thought you. Thought I thought you. you, I thought you didn't. Yeah. Actually, I didn't, I will tell him to write the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimizations, will be? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I ask it to you, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to be Isabel. And William, you're going to be Samuel. Okay. The content manager revised the, the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords I told you, didn't it? Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keyword before we actually include that in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be someone. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, I, I will be Isabel, go ahead. Okay, okay. The content manager revised the list of keyword. Did he need, did he? The list of keywords, I told you did, you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will then him to revise the keywords. Keywords, keywords. Before we actually include them in this site, we won't have problems loaded with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for this especially. It is good that I ask you, isn't it? Which one? No, I don't know. We can practice again. I will be yes. somewhere. Mm -hmm. You okay. will be someone? Uh, yes. Okay, I, I will I be guess. someone. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords, I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Okay, now. Could be Samuel and Irwin or Doris, I don't know. Wants to practice again. Okay. I, uh, Samuel. Okay, it will be a seven. Okay. The content manager revised the list of the keywords, didn't he? The list of the keywords, I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. 
I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have a progress later with Cheers engine. Optimization will be? Yes, I will be very thrilled later for the specialists. Is good that I asked you, isn't it? Mm, okay. How to do through how to do the very uh, can you help me please? Tulsum. Yes, Tulsum in the pronouns, okay? Troublesome. Troublesome. Yeah. Troublesome. Troublesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Freddy's. I don't know if you want to to practice again. Okay. Okay. I will. I will go with you, Freddy. Go ahead. Okay, the content manager revised the list of, of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes. It will be, be it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Okay, now I will be Samuel again. Okay, good. I will be Isabel. Okay. The Okie dokie. How many are we? We're back? Okay. Yeah, we're back. So let's answer the questions overall. Actually, let me see. We have 9.39, five minutes, 40.50. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, I need two volunteers. Say me and your name if you want to practice reading really quick. Two people. Me, Fernando. Erika. Okay, mi Fernando Samuel and mi Erika Isabel. One, two, three, go. Uh, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problem later with the with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Okay, good job. Engine, engine, search engine, search engine optimization. Search engine, engine. Search engine optimization. Okay, that I asked, that I asked, that I, that I, that I, that I asked, that I asked you. Okay, it's good that I asked you, isn't it? Yeah, and it's good that I asked you, isn't it? Okay, don't forget, don't say you. If nobody told you this on basic one, don't say you, you, okay? That's a bad word. Not a bad word, but you know, Jewish. Um, it sounds like Jewish. you. <laughs> it sounds like you, which means Jewish. And Jewish people hate when they call them you for some reason. It's, just general culture. Don't say you, say you, you, you. Okay. It's good that I ask you. It's good that I ask you. See, it's different than is it is good that I ask you. Hmm. Okay. Be careful with that. You got it? Yep. Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords. What are we missing here? Mm. 
What are we missing? Didn't he? Didn't he? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, didn't he? Second, I thought you did it. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Will we? Will we? Will we? <clears throat> Will we? Will we? Very good. It's good that I ask you. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? So how does this work? Really quick. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this topic in two days, actually. Not today. But tag questions are something that you may call rhetoric questions. Hey Fernando. Yes. Qué inteligente se mira Erika. Vea. Ah. <laughs> ya, ya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Estefanía tiene sueño, va. Mm. Va. Y hombre. Me hago. O, o, o verdad. Me hago. Same thing. Ese me hago. O me hago. Is the rhetoric question in Spanish. In Salvadorian. In good Salvadorian. Va que sí. Va que sí. Va que sí. sí. No. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What what other words do we use for rhetorical statements? And it's very simple. I mean, if you have a positive statement, uh, I'm late for the class. I'm late for the class. Don't I? And you could say don't I or yeah, don't I? Because it's the word to be. Okay. Um man, I'm fat. Don't I? As well. Man, you talk a lot. That's an affirmation. Um, Fernando talks a lot, doesn't he? So if you have a positive statement, the question is in negative. If you have a negative statement, the rhetoric question is in positive. And um, what else, what else, what else, what else? And it's just like reassuring what you know, okay? Um, Alexander is always late in the class, isn't he? Hey, Doris, you could lend me $5, couldn't you? Couldn't you? No, I don't. No, I couldn't, no, I couldn't. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, uh, we couldn't understand this um, grammar topic in just five minutes, could we? Hmm? Okay, and that's a positive question, could we? No. And so on. No, <laughs> no, we have to see a lot of examples. It's very easy. What you do is you use the same auxiliary Okay, whether it is a negative or positive, it all depends on the on the example. But we will see it in detail on Friday. On Friday, yes, on Friday. Now, to continue with the digital marketing strategies that you have, there's a short video. It's just five minutes. It is. It has a lot of information. Okay, so be ready. Um, we're just going to watch the video so you learn a little bit more about emerging digital marketing strategies. Now, watch out. That's what everybody's doing. They're watching out for trends. Nowadays in social media, everybody's expecting to see what's next, what the government is going to do, what Ukraine is going to do. Okay, everything is in social media and everybody follows what is going on and everybody wants to become a todologo, right? Uh, I'm not going to yeah. say that. I'm not going to say the word in English because it's a bad word in English, okay? Well, I'm going to write it on the chat. Um, say it. Say it. No, I can't. I cannot say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. But that's basically someone who thinks... He knows or she knows everything, a todologo, right? 
In English, that's a bad word, okay? Um, so be careful with it. But nowadays, everybody wants to know what's the trend. What's trend? What's trend in social media? And everybody wants to know and talk about it. For example, with Bitcoin, you can find a lot of people who have no idea how it works, and they even make live videos explaining to people. Mm. Okay. About COVID, the same thing happened with COVID. A lot of todos became, you know, uh, YouTubers. So be careful with that. Let's go. And this guy actually has a lot of knowledge about this topic. Just listen to him. Uh, don't share the video. Don't share the audio. Turn off your microphone. Okay. So we can all listen to it. Let's go in small groups just for five minutes and watch the video.
Did you finish? Is out whether or not it will actually grow and turn into a place where you should spend your time. Something that yes. Almost. I don't. Okay. I think Amos is watching. Hey, I'm going to. In. Yeah. Did you finish, Amos? Yes, yes, yes. Finish. Okay. Um, for me, the interesting, the, the most interesting part of the video was that um, the ideas of the of the guy um, uh, predictions, I think. Sorry. And I think that these predictions um, are real in in this year and the last year too. Because in my case, I watch a lot, a lot of reels and Instagrams. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Man, there's even a way to do, to find what is trending right now on Google. Just so you know, we're, we're gonna continue talking about this. This is very interesting. Um, if you were able to understand uh, most of the video, watch it again study this topic is very important to know uh, this stuff who knows one day you may need it with your company you could apply it you know implement it and save some money for the company and maybe they could pay you for doing the digital marketing who knows okay sandra can you please stay 10 minutes would you Sandra, 10 minutes after the class. And we lost her again. Okay. Sandra has problems with her internet connection, it looks like. Okay. William Alexander, can you could you stay 10 minutes? You're the next one on the list. Let me know. I'm gonna do the attendance, William or Sandra. If you could stay, that would be great. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Blanca Stefani Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good night. Good night. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortes López. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. I'm here. Good night. Good night. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Good night. 
Good night, Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Good night. Good night, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Hey, could you stay 10 minutes? I think he left. Okay, Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. See you. See you, Thelma Creotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Good rest. Good rest. Take care.